Hi, this is Paolo with Drum Bass Academy, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a bass in the style of Matthews, like this one. Alright, so here I am with an initialized patch inside of Vital, and the first thing I'm going to do is to load this water racer wavetable. It sounds quite interesting and we're actually going to bring the level all the way down because we want to turn on oscillator 2, set it on a sine wave and run FM from the first oscillator. Around 55% is okay. We're also going to boost the octave on the first oscillator. So it sounds quite squarey. Now if you notice, we kind of get a different sound every time I hit the note. So to solve this, we got to bring the phase randomization all the way down on both oscillators. And if we want to slightly change our sound, we can play with the phase. Now after routing this FM, we can change the frame of our wavetable on oscillator 1. I'm gonna leave it right there. Then let's turn on the sampler and let's load a cool noise. That one's fine. I'm actually gonna bring the level all the way down because we want to modulate this one later. The next thing I'm gonna do is to turn on the filter and set it into a 24 decibel filter, bring the resonance all the way down and we're gonna play with this cutoff. Oops, I need to route oscillator 2 into this filter. And now to add that movement, we're gonna map LFO number one into the cutoff of our filter. And next we need to make a shape like this one. Change the frequency. And next we're gonna map this into the noise level. Decrease the amount of modulation. And we can play with this LFO later. Now let's jump into the effects and we're going to turn on the chorus. We're going to bring the voices all the way down to 4. Bring the spread all the way down, boost the cutoff. This serves as another filter which is going to sound cool when we distort the patch. So let's turn on the distortion module and boost the drive. Sounds nice. Next, let's turn on the compressor. That's way too distorted, but that's fine. Let's turn on the reverb. Let's reduce the time a bit. Let's add an EQ and let's boost the highs. Now let's bring the global gain a bit lower. And let's modulate that with another LFO. Let's decrease the modulation a bit. Cool, so now let's go back into the voice settings and we're gonna play with the mix of our oscillators. So I'm gonna bring the noise a bit lower so it's a bit less noisy and I'm also gonna decrease the level of this oscillator so it doesn't distort that much. And so now we're getting really close to that sound. So from here it's all about fine tuning. We can play with the shape. We can change the distortion settings. And as you can see, we have many possibilities. Now for post-processing, the only thing I added was some EQ, more compression, some reverb, and a simple low cut. Now after a bit of fine tuning, this is the final result. Now, if you want this exact preset, I included it on the Vital Starter Pack. The link is in the description below. Alright, so that's going to be it for this video. If you found it useful, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also follow us on Instagram at dmb.academy. And last but not least, visit our website on dmbacademy.net. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.